What's up everybody? My name is Parky and today I have a new ship, the C1 Spirit. This beautiful ship has helped me earn millions of credits. The sleek and futuristic design of the interior extends to the exterior where you can find the tractor beam adorned the top of the beautiful white paint. I'm going to show you exactly how I use that tractor beam to increase efficiency in bounty homing trips. So first things first, we have to go get the most important upgrade and that is the upgrade to the paint job. The maiden voyage of any ship is a little rough, and this was no different. I had a little trouble getting out of the hangar, but towards the end of this video, I am a master of this ship. So this video will go over exactly how I made now 17 million credits AUC. I got the paint, the first landing went a little better than the takeoff, and I admired the exterior of the ship a little bit more. I equipped the paint, and then I bought some new guns and that left me with a grand total of 5,000 credits left. I'm going to upgrade the rest of my ship somewhere near the middle of this video so go check that out if you want to see exactly where and what I upgrade my ship with. Ugh, this ship looks so good in yellow this is exactly what a sparky ship would look like. Like any profession in this game at first the money is slow but in the end it picks up and bounty hunting is no different. So let's go ahead and get our MRTs loaded up and commit some murder. So after around 10 or 15 MRTs, I was able to take on the HRTs. And surprisingly, it went a little smoother and I got a little more loot. I do wanna share a little bug that I ran into that really put a big old stinker on my day. And that is the targets are not enemies, they were friendlies. And so when I decided to neutralize what they assigned to me, it counted as a crime. And at the time I didn't really know what to make of it. I just assumed it was a bug and I could just, you know, destroy him, whatever. And as soon as I destroyed him, I got a crime stat three. And if you don't know what that means, it means you go straight to jail. So I wasn't quite sure what to do at this point. I figured, you know, whatever, I'll just go take his cargo. And he had quite a bit, about 50 SCU of drugs I could have sold. Unfortunately, since I had a bounty on my head, I had to worry about bounty hunters. So I quickly lined my little tail end up to the back of the other ship and was preparing to start loading the cargo. I had to go to the other ship, open the door, and admire all the loot that I get to go sell. Even though this was the first attempt at loading cargo onto the C1 Spirit for me and using the tractor beam, this only took me five minutes to do. Which sounds like a lot of time, but really for the amount of cargo I had and, and the size, I think I did a pretty good job and I only got quicker after this. Being mindful of my crime stat three, I decided to sell my loot at a salvage yard. I decided to take the risk and just try to make some quick money. This was my first real taste of big loot in this game. And man, oh man, I was hooked. So if you do HRTs consistently, that means you'll make around 500K per HRT. So it's a pretty easy and quick way to make some money. Some trips are obviously going to be better, better than others, and this one just happened to be a mildly good one. However, I did have a crime stat. Now while I was trying to figure out what to do about my crime stat, I was ambushed by a bounty hunter. I uh, had never really done PvP in this game before, so I went ahead and gave it my best try. He kind of took me by surprise, I was kind of hanging out in my cargo hole. We duked it out for about... 10 minutes and you know what I figured I was gonna have to go to jail anyway to reduce my sentence so I just went ahead and uh, took the L and tried to ram him because uh, 
I, he wasn't dying and I was I wasn't dying either so I figured I might as well just go to jail and uh, start from there and I want to talk about going to prison for a minute if you don't know what it is you basically have to mine find uh, contraband and fix things around the prison for money to get out and it is, it is just oh my gosh it is just the worst gameplay loop ever created I understand why they did it I get it but don't do crime it's not worth it I had to do somewhere around 40 HRTs before I was able to do VHRTs this is one of the HRTs and I learned a lot while doing all those missions if you're looking for loot I would advise singling out which target you think has the most loot such as the 400 die or maybe a freelancer and destroying that ship last so you know where the loot is going to end up second i've noticed that if you fly up like you hold the space bar and fly up instead of forward the ai has a way harder time shooting you with the turret that's just something that i've noticed i don't know if it's true or not but i've been able to shoot significantly longer without having to back off to recharge my shields and lastly after you get good at dogfighting, you should be able to shoot the engines off of ships and lure them closer to the ground so they don't blow up. So they actually soft kill. And that's that applies to uh, in-atmosphere dogfights. In space, it doesn't really matter. Those are just some of the tips I can think of off the top of my head. Leave some comments down below. What are some bounty hunting tips that uh, you think I could probably get better at and other people could use too? So I went ahead and lined up my ship packed the rest of the cargo in and made my way back to CRU Crusader L4. And at this point, I was pretty excited about the wealth that I had amassed, around 1.8 million, I think. And uh, I was ready to upgrade my ship. I guess 1.68, whatever. I was ready to upgrade my ship. I brought my happy little tail over to Orison to try and find the ship parts I wanted. And after getting lost for five minutes, I finally found the Cousin's Crow, the ship parts shop on Orison. It's a bit tucked away, but once you find it, you know, you'll always remember where it is. So here, you go downstairs, you go to the customer service, and you pick up some parts. This is what I got. For the shield generator, I got the FR-76. It's a, a grade A military class shield generator. For the power plant, I got the Quadracell MT, which is also a grade A class military. For the cooler, I bought the Avalanche. I don't even know what coolers do, but that's what I got. And for the Quantum Drive, I got the XL1. After I slapped those upgrades in, all the HRTs were quite simple after that. By the time I was ready for my VHRT contract, I had done quite a few more HRTs and amassed a little over 3 million AUEC. My VHRT contract wasn't the biggest deal. It was a Prowler and a uh, Valkyrie. Not a big deal. Took care of that pretty quick. Unfortunately, there was absolutely no loot in the Valkyrie because it is a gunship. But my luck turned around because my next VHRT, it blew my freaking mind. But I have bad news. I didn't get to record it, kind of. I started streaming. I started streaming after this kill. And while I was streaming, I didn't know that my recording software wouldn't record the video. It took kind of like little freeze frames while I was fighting this C2. But what I found in this C2 was amazing. This C2 was packed to the brim with weevil eggs and slam. And I got so nervous i had no idea what to do i immediately jumped right back into my c1 and started loading i completely stuffed my cargo hold <laughs> and uh i got around 100 scu of gasping weeble eggs i was so excited i stopped streaming because i was worried about the loot even though nobody was watching me and i went to walla to the uh, scrapyard there I took out one weevil egg box and threw it on the ground because I couldn't get out of my ship. When I first started this journey, I was not expecting to make this much money. I was not expecting to have such big valuable loot sitting in my cargo hole. 
I didn't bring any armor or any weapons. I made my way to the commodity shop as fast as I possibly could. For some reason it wouldn't let me walk fast. And I couldn't believe. I had never seen such a great red screen in my life. Sixty-four SCU gasping weevil eggs for six point nine million. And I had another three point five million sitting on the ground outside. I had to be quick. I grabbed the I grabbed the other box and when I went to sell it, unfortunately, there was no there was no demand. So I had to come up with an alternative plan. I had three point five million sitting in my cargo hole and I was sitting vulnerable. Oh, and I found this other small box full of gasping weevil eggs in this crashed ship here. So I just went ahead and uh, picked it out. Picked it up. Put it in my own ship. I made my way to the reclamation disposal Orinth on Hurston. Because I did a little bit of research and I found that's the other place I could sell gasping weevil eggs. And I uh, was able to sell the rest of it. And that little box that I picked up was even worth 200k. So it's a pretty good little run there. And I thought to myself, man, I must be one lucky son of a bitch. But the next mission, the exact same thing happened. I found this Constellation Phoenix with a crap ton of loot. This fight was a bit more challenging because he was flanked by a 600 eye and a Drake Caterpillar. But I took care of them. And I found an absolute crap ton of cargo. It wasn't as good as the last haul. There was only one 32 SCU box of gasping weevil eggs, but the other stuff was pretty okay. I went to another salvage yard and I sold the rest of my gasping weevil eggs. This particular trip, I had to visit a few separate salvage yards because I couldn't sell the gasping weevil eggs so I had already sold the rest of the drugs but I ended up with a cool 17 or I guess 16.8 basically 17 million credits this opens up a lot of doors for me I can buy basically every ship in the game except for like a few so what ship should I try next let me know in a comment down below if you uh, enjoyed the video you got any tips for me you know just let me know and you can join our Discord, we got a few active members, we uh, kind of drool over all the new ships that come out. So uh, thanks for watching guys, I'm going to be possibly streaming here in the future, so uh, look out for any community posts for that. And if you made, made it all the way through this video, uh, thanks a lot, you're probably the best. You probably enjoy Star Citizen just as much as I do, and after this, I, I just want to keep playing.